I've had a few comments on the channel relating to the rules of the game. So on this video I'd like to demonstrate some scenarios and clarify the rules relating to them. What I must emphasise at this stage, as with any game, rules and regulations are always likely to be rewritten. So I just want to emphasise that these rules are applicable just at this time of filming. Right, so let's just have a look at this situation here. The red is the ball on and the player is playing from hand and he's trying to hit a thin edge on the red. He misses the ball completely and the referee awards a foul and a miss. The balls are replaced because the opponent wants them to be replaced. He does that a second time, a foul and a miss. He will receive a warning from the referee. If you miss that ball this time, a third time, then the frame will be awarded to your opponent. Okay, so he must not miss that red. In contrast to that, if that red is in this position, now the player plays a thin edge on the red, foul and a miss, twice, he will not receive a warning on the second occasion. Why? Well, in this situation here, when the red was there, he can see that ball full in the face a full ball contact, so he will receive a warning. When the ball is there, he can only see, say, quarter of the ball, so he will not receive that same warning. Yes, it will be a foul and a miss, and the balls will be replaced, if the opponent wishes it to be, but he will not receive the warning. That is the difference. Purely because he cannot see the ball full in the face. In this situation, we've got two reds on the table. One is partially obscured by the blue. This one, the player can see full in the face. The player elects to play a thin contact on this red. He doesn't fancy it in this one. He feels he may knock it over a pocket. So he misses it completely, all right? So foul and a miss. The opponent asks for it to be replaced and the player plays the shot again. Foul and a miss, all right? He will receive a warning, purely because of this ball. He can see this ball full in the face, all right? So as a result of that, he receives that warning. The fact that he has chosen to play this more difficult shot, that's his prerogative, of course it is. But the fact that he's played it and missed it twice, and he's got an easier shot here, then he will receive a warning. In this situation here, uh, my opponent has snookered me, he's rolled up to the yellow, on the, the ball on is the final red. It's a very tricky snooker because I can't get this way, I'm that close to the yellow, so it doesn't allow me, or I can't get that way. So I have to go in and out of ball. Now, if the point situation is such that I can still win, then if I miss that red, then the referee will award a foul and a miss. And let's assume I, I haven't left my opponent an easy opening, he may want to put that back. So again, it goes back. And it can keep going back until such, such time as the point situation decrees that it cannot go back. I will explain that in a little while. So here, coming towards the red, I've missed again. Foul and a miss, it will go back. Now let's assume that, well, there are 35 points on the table and I am 31 points behind. Right, so I'll play the shot this time and I miss the red. Okay, I've missed the red. Badly, actually. But I've missed the red there. A miss cannot be awarded because I was 31 points behind. 
As a result of the foul, I've given four points away, so now I am 35 points behind. I cannot win, I can only draw, okay? So a, must, a miss cannot be awarded, a foul will be awarded, certainly, but not a miss. Now, players seem to think that there is a difference between professional snooker and amateur snooker. The rules are different. They are not. There is only one set of rules for both games. However, that doesn't mean that those rules cannot be ad adapted somewhat. Now, in my local league, I know that the standard is not that great. And for somebody to be in that snooker that I was in, there they would be trying to hit that final red all day long. Okay? So what the league have decided to do is limit the amount of misses. All right? So what they say, right, you will have a maximum of three misses. After that third one where you've just missed, a miss will not be awarded, just the foul, and you carry on the game as normal. Now, I hope that clears that up. First and foremost, a miss will be awarded until the score suggests that you cannot have a miss. Also, amateur and professional snooker, there is only one set of rules, right, for both games. But what you can do, with the league's permission, of course, yeah, is adapt those rules, all right, to suit the standard that the, uh, that the league will play in. Even in professional snooker, there are occasions where the rules, shall we say, come under scrutiny. I remember in 2009, in the semi-final of the UK Championship, a match between Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins. I've tried to set the balls up as they were in that situation. Ronnie had potted a red and he played position to get on the black. Unfortunately, it come a little bit too far and the white had ended up touching the red, which meant that he couldn't pop the black without fouling the red. So what he could have done is come here from across the cushion here and try to hit the black, which for Ronnie would have been quite a simple shot. But he was aware of the fact that he would probably be leaving John Egan's a good opportunity to score. So he decided to try and hit one of the bulk colours. In this instance, he, he had the gap here and he tried to hit the brown a couple of times. So he went round the, the angles here, trying to hit the brown. Now, Ronnie got very close to it, as indeed I did on that occasion. All right, but a foul and a miss is rewarded. Now he tried that shot a couple of times, but realised that because of the slide on those, on those cushions that they play on, it was getting too much slide and the shot really wasn't on. So he changed his mind. This time he came round here and he tried to hit the yellow from that sort of position. So he's here trying to hit the yellow. There. He also got very close to that as indeed I, I've got reasonably close. But again, because of the slide off the cushions on those tables, this shot really was very difficult. So on the final occasion, what turned out to be the final occasion, he's playing the same shot again. He's leaning over the black and he's touched the black with his hand. Now, Jan Verhes, the referee, didn't spot that. But Ronnie knew he'd done it and owned up to it. So a foul, seven points away. But no miss was awarded. John come to the table, realised that he got a touching ball, couldn't pop the ball near the black, and said, OK, I'll, I'll have a foul and a miss awarded, put it back, Ronnie's on. But the Amber half said no. You can, I could not award a miss because Ronnie has not played a shot. I have awarded you a foul, seven points away, but there is no miss. Now, the only options that John had got were either to put 
Ronnie in again or to play the shot himself. If he put Ronnie in again, now because of the foul has broken the miss sequence, Ronnie is now on a red. And we've got a touching ball situation, so Ronnie would more than likely just play away and try to put John in trouble. As it was, John had to come to the table and play the shot himself. So you see the rules don't cover every scenario. That particular situation with Ronnie and John Higgins no doubt will be reviewed and, and reassessed and somewhere along the line, if not already, the rule will probably be rewritten. But one thing I do know is that professional players do not cheat. Ronnie is leant over, touched the black and immediately owned up to it. But that doesn't mean that in your clubs everybody will react the same. And that particular example, let's be honest, is open to abuse. So hopefully they will uh, adapt the rules to cover it. What I hope from that is we've done all these scenarios of covering the miss rule, the free ball rule, etc. And I hope, you know, they answer most of your questions and that you'll go to the clubs and, OK, resolve these possible heated discussions or arguments and that you continue to go on and enjoy your game. <laughs>